If you have an exciting new chapter ahead of you, perhaps you are graduating and moving on to college or your first job, or perhaps you've taken a new teaching position in a new school or district. In any case, you might be a little bit anxious about losing access to all of the files and resources that you've created in your Google account. Moving is hard. Let's start packing. Hi, my name is John Sawash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to two very helpful utilities. We'll be talking about Google Takeout and Google Transfer. These two products will help you move your existing data from your school account to a new personal Gmail account or a new school account if you're off to college or teaching in a new district. To start, I want you to go ahead and log in to whatever account you want to transfer the data from. So right now I'm logged into my school account and I want to transfer this to a different uh, Google account. What you're going to do is click up in the top right corner on your profile photo uh, and you're going to select um, manage your Google account. This is a lot of information about your account. You want to look for this option right here, transfer your content. Look for the balloons. Now, if you do not see the balloons, uh, you may have to reach out to your IT department. This is something that uh, your IT department can disable uh, and you need to reach out to them and ask them to turn it on. The balloons, transfer your content, will not appear if you are signed into a personal Gmail account. If you're trying to transfer data out of a personal Gmail account to something else, stick around. We're going to talk about Google Takeout in just a minute. Let's go ahead and start this process. I'm going to hit Start Transfer. I'm going to go ahead and enter the email address of the account that I want to transfer the data to. This can be another Google Workspace account or it can be a personal Gmail account. It does need to be a Google account. So you can't do this to you know, Microsoft or Yahoo or AOL. I'm gonna go ahead and send the code. Now Google wants to verify that you actually own this other account. So the uh, code comes nearly instantly. I'm gonna log into my other email. Here is the code. I'm gonna copy this code into the transfer tool, verify. And now I can select the information that I want to transfer. Now, right now, the transfer tool only supports data from Google Drive and Gmail. If you have data in other products like Google Photos, YouTube, Calendar, stick around. We're going to talk about Google Takeout in a minute, which will allow us to get data out of those um, products as well. You can select to um, export or not that information, and we're going to click the Start Transfer button. Now, this can take a while. Um, it can technically take up to one week, depending on how much data you have. So it's definitely best to start this process well before you expect uh, your account to be deactivated by your school or uh, current employer. Um, it's really nice when uh, this process begins, a new folder will be created in your Google Drive account and all of the files from your Drive account will be put into that folder into the account uh, that you selected. Now, a couple of quick words about what will be transferred. In Google Drive, only files that you can edit will be included in the transfer. So if you have received access to a file, but it is view only, those are not included in the transfer. Uh, it also does not include any files that are in shared drives. Um, so you would need to go into your drive account before starting the transfer and make sure that you make copies of anything uh, that's view only or in shared drives that you do want to be included in the transfer. Um, for mail, all of your messages are transferred. Um, it does not transfer your contacts, your chat conversations, um, or your tasks if you have any of those set up. If you are interested in moving your drive or mail content, the transfer tool is hands down the easiest, fastest, and simplest way to get it done. Now, if you have products, uh, Google data in other products, or if you want more control over how the data is transferred, you need to check out this second utility called Google Takeout. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. We're gonna go back to the same exact place. We're gonna click on our account profile, go to manage your Google account. We're gonna dig a little bit deeper. 
Uh, we have to go down to data and personalization over on the left. And then we're going to scroll down to account data and download your data. Um, Google Takeout doesn't actually transfer data to a new account. It actually just allows you to download that data. Once you've downloaded it, you can then upload it, depending on what it is, to a new account. If you are trying to move data from a Gmail account to a Google Workspace account, then you have to use uh, Google Takeout. Uh, if you have data in other Google products that weren't included in transfer, basically everything but Gmail and Drive, you also need to use Google Takeout. Now, Takeout will list every Google product that you have used, and you may not even realize how many different products there are. There are a ton of them. The first thing you want to do is just look at this list. If you don't need it, if you don't even know what it is, then don't include it. These files can be absolutely massive. I'm talking gigabytes worth of storage. So if you look at this and you're like, Google Arts and Culture, yeah, I don't need that. Like, go ahead and deselect. Honestly, I would deselect everything and then go through and say, okay, yeah, I want my calendar. Yep, I'm going to do my bookmarks. Um, you know, I want my contacts. Uh, for me, the big ones would be uh, YouTube. You know, downloading my YouTube videos would be huge. So I'm going to make sure that I select that one. And then Google Photos is another one. You can download all of your, uh, your photos as well. Once you've gone through and selected everything, um, the next thing you can do, and it depends on the product, um, but Mail, for example, allows you to say what data is included. And I can go in here and select particular categories. Um, for YouTube, you can select, you know, download the uh, videos from these playlists. For Google Photos, you can say only download these albums. Again, allowing you to only take the content you actually care about. Um, you can also review, you know, the file format for this information. Some of them allow you to change the file format. Some don't. Um, and then when you're all ready, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. Go to the next step and finish the takeout process. Um, now you can uh, choose to receive an email link to these folders. So basically Google will uh, store the downloaded file and then you can access it through a link. Um, that's what I do, that's what I recommend. You can also choose to um, add the archive to Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. The challenge with those is that, again, these files can be quite large, so you need to make sure that you have sufficient storage capacity in your Dropbox account to contain those files once Google delivers them. Um, if you're transferring data from a Google Workspace Drive account to a personal Drive account, again, your personal Gmail doesn't have unlimited free storage, so you need to make sure that uh, you have enough space in there. I always do the download link and I can download it to my computer, sift through it, and then upload uh, the data that I actually care about. Um, you'll go down to the very uh, bottom and say create that export. And again, this process can take quite a while, several days in some instances, all based on how much information and data uh, that you have. Now, importing that data can be a little bit tricky. Some Google products, Google Drive, Gmail, Calendar, Photos, YouTube, make it very easy to upload content from um, your computer. Other Google products, Google Classroom, Google Groups, Google Sites, there really isn't a way to upload the data that you have. So just keep that in mind when you're exporting these things. Not every export has an easy way to utilize that data. Now, if you are a teacher and you really want to save your Google Classroom information, if you want to move your courses and assignments from one district to another, make sure you check out the link in the description for this video. I have some specific steps on how to transfer a class from one school district uh, to another. One of the things that I would strongly recommend doing before you even begin this transfer process is organizing your emails and your drive account. data. I'm going to link to a playlist that I created on ways to organize your inbox, your calendar, your Google Drive data. It'll help you in the classroom. It'll help you as you head off to university or your first job and as you transfer your data to your new